Hi guys, Dr. Berg here. I want to give you a couple tips on what to do if you have these dark circles underneath the eyes, okay? Just right here. This is my image right here. It's not really just one thing. It could be coming from multiple things, uh, many different causes. Um, and yes, it can be genetic, okay? But if it's not genetic, if it doesn't run in the, your family, here's some things you can look at. Number one, the sinuses. If your sinuses are congested with mucus, you have a lot of lymphatic congestion. And the lymph nodes go all around the eyes, and that can create a puffiness and um, also a backup of the venous, which is the veins, which is kind of blue, which will look kind of darker underneath the eyes because you're seeing this congested uh, um, backflow of blood and lymph. Um, so if that's the case, the, one of the best remedies to clean out the sinuses would be some of the nasal um, rinses that I'm gonna put down below but there's a really good remedy called colostrum, which actually corrects the immune system to improve allergies. Um, and I'm going to put a link down below of some data on that. But there's a, another thing, too, that you can take, which is Mormon tea. Now, what is Mormon tea? Mormon tea is a weak version of ephedra. I don't know if you heard about ephedra. They took it off the market because it increases adrenaline. Um, but honestly, <laughs> the risk of that is so, so small compared to even aspirin out there. The amount of benefit that it did for people with sinus congestion and lung uh, pneumonia and asthma and bronchitis, I mean, it's very, very effective. It's been used for over 2,000 years. Um, but of course, you can't patent it and it's very inexpensive. But if you monitor someone to make sure they don't have high blood pressure and you don't take it when you're pregnant, it's totally fine. But Mormon tea is a really good thing to take in the early part of the day to actually uh, handle a runny nose and to get rid of congestion. Okay? And of course, the diet. Make sure you're not doing any uh, milk products. Um, that could do it. Or any wheat products. Those two will definitely back up the sinuses. And one more thing too. If you ever go out to a restaurant and you eat something with uh, meat and sugar or like anything like a bun and hot dog or a burger and a bun with fries or a Coke, you are going to create a lot of sinus congestion from that and that could be one of the causes too. So as you clean up the diet, this will clear up too. And then we get to the liver, okay? If you're detoxifying or your liver is toxic, um, that can create this appearance underneath the eye as well. The best remedy is milk, milk thistle, okay? That actually can repair liver damage. So it's quite amazing and it's very safe and you won't get this detoxification reaction from that. Many people who even do colostrum or probiotics start having an immune reaction and then they end up getting this problem too. So if you're going to take anything for the first time, always take small amounts including colostrum and I think you're going to be okay with this one. All right. Then we get to the adrenal. Adrenal fatigue. Uh, with the amount of stress that you have, with the amount of lack of sleep, you're going to have the dark circles as well. And so you want to support the adrenal. That's a whole video in itself. I put the link down below. But of course, start out with long walks every day. Don't sit in front of the computer 24-7. Um, good amounts of sleep. Whatever you could do to improve sleep is going to be a good thing. In fact, that brings us to the next thing, which is sleep, which is probably the number one thing, if you were to improve, would it would fix this dark circle underneath the eyes. So that's really important. And then vitamin D not only helps the adrenal, but it helps sleep as well. So sun every day if you can get it. And then we have, you know, we talked about walking, decrease the stress, and lots of potassium foods. Potassium is the physiological tranquilizer. It relaxes you. It gets rid of sodium excess and retention, the fluid, which could create this as well. But mainly the, the sodium-potassium ratio issue, if that's a problem, will create bags in the eyes, not necessarily discoloration. But we want to get you to sleep, okay? So I'll put some links down below. And then allergies. If you are allergic, which kind of gives us, puts us in this category as well, um, high levels of vitamin C would be very beneficial for allergies. And also colostrum is another thing that actually corrects allergies as well. And there's other things too. I'll put some other links down below. But what you want to do is you want to just see if there's anything that kind of pop out for you and focus on that part right now. Um, but the lining of the skin underneath the eyes is very, very thin. And you can very easily see um, all the different, uh, the venous um, pooling in there, which is blue, but it shows up as a dark circle. All right? So try some of these and put your comments below. Thanks so much for watching. 
Hey, press the subscribe button and let's keep you in the, in the now. I'll keep you in the now. No, that doesn't make sense. Hey, you probably already subscribed, but if you haven't, press this little button down below and I will keep you updated.